Here we are with another triple display setup plus the laptop display. We can use a Windows laptop, a Windows desktop, a Mac OS laptop or a Mac OS desktop. And the beauty is that I only need to connect one single cable to this split extent, which is basically a docking station. And then I just need to connect that single cable to the laptop. And I will be able to have this triple display setup plus all the accessories that I can connect. In terms of ports, we will find at the front two USB type C ports, two USB type A ports, all of them USB 3.0, one micro SD card and one SD card slot, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and then at the back three HDMI outputs up to 4K at 60 Hz, two USB 2.0 ports, one gigabit Ethernet port, and then the USB type C port that will connect with power delivered to our laptop or to our desktop. Now it's easy as just connecting one single cable to our computer so that we can have access to everything. And then once we remove that cable, we will be free to take our laptop anywhere. Once we arrive, just connect one single cable, we will have access to all the accessories and to all the displays without the mess of connecting and disconnecting cables. It's as easy as this, but Let's check it out. So this is a triple display setup, 4K at 60 Hz on all the displays using one single cable connected to this mini computer, which is a desktop computer. So if I disconnect this single cable here, what will happen is that we will lose connection with everything. Now, if you want to use a laptop instead of this desktop right over here, you can. We just need to make sure that our laptop has USB Type-C and that USB Type-C has display port output. If it doesn't, we will only get a maximum of two displays. But in this particular case, this mini desktop right over here has. Now, I do have a laptop that I did test earlier only without display port output so I was only able to achieve two displays 4k at 60 but the third display in that particular case doesn't work. Now in this particular case we have the mini computer here connected to all the peripherals that we have. So at the front we will find two USB type C ports one of which is connected to that phone right over there which is charging up to 20 watts fast charging and we also have a USB type A and USB type A 3.0 and a SD and micro SD card. If we want to connect our headphones we can connect here on the 3.5 millimeter jack and then at the back we have the three HDMI outputs there's also the two USB 2.0 ports that we can connect our mouse keyboard and so on and then we have a gigabit Ethernet port and then finally the USB type C uh, cable that will connect to our computer and will deliver power up to 100 watts. Now we can achieve right now is through one single cable on a desktop or a laptop a scenario where we can have everything that we want in three different displays up to 4k at 60 hertz. Now I do have an external SSD right over here so if I go to select target drive and let's just select the AFRO and select we can do a speed test right over here which is starting slowly but it will get to the, the speeds that we want to check out. If I go to my browser in the meantime what we will be able to see is that I've got two internal hard drives and then I also have one SD uh, card uh, actually the SSD through USB and then one SD card. So at this moment let me just move out of the way of the speed test. If I disconnect this SD card right over here we will see that it will disappear from the Explorer and now if I connect the SD card once again it will be back on my Explorer. And right now what we are achieving is the speeds more or less 5 gigabit which is a maximum of 500 megabytes per second reads and on writes. We are achieving roughly 425 megabytes on reads, roughly 410 megabytes on writes which is the maximum that we will be achieving on a 5 gigabit USB 3.0 connectivity. Now one of the things that we will need to do is to install the driver, the display link driver which is available on the user guide when we get this split extent and we also have the support on the 
Ore's website right over there. So it's really simple. Just go to the website. We can search for this particular model, or I'm sure that you will see a link down below with all the specifications. And also you can see the website as well and the product page. Now at this moment, we can stop the speed test. And one of the things that we can check out is the display. So 4K, 60 Hertz, it's great. We can do all the configurations that we want. We can rearrange how we want. At this moment, I've got number two right over there number one and number three in case of a laptop we will have an extra screen which is the laptop screen and also we will be able to charge the laptop which is not happening at this moment up to 100 watts now with a laptop with mac os which we will be able to achieve everything that we can achieve on windows and have three displays besides in this particular case of course the advantage of having the internal display of the laptop now this laptop has display port output via the usb type c or thunderbolt connectivity depending on our laptop so we will be able to achieve the maximum resolution and the maximum capacity of the displays now if i press right over here on the range we can see that we can highlight that one individually and then i can highlight this one i can highlight this one and i can also highlight this one which is really cool so if i want to do a lot of multitasking with the three external displays plus the display on my laptop i can do that at 4k 60 hertz exactly what we can achieve on windows computers of course the only limitation is computers that do not have the display port output will be limited to two external displays output besides the internal display right over here but basically just to show you that it's working and the biggest advantage right over here is that if we check on the laptop side we are charging the computer and we, we will be able to use the computer without having to connect any other cables at this moment the only cable that i've got connected is the cable to the split extend so if i disconnect my laptop let's say that my work session is over i can just disconnect i then will take my laptop to work if i do have another split extend at work that will be great because i can just arrive there and plug it in if i don't i will have to work with just one single display which is really sad and not really fast at all but once i get back to my setup i just need to plug in back the split extend one single cable and then i will have access once again to all of the peripherals that i did connect and besides that as we can see we will have access to the displays and everything is rearranged as it was when i did left now i always suggest to have another one at work because if we are used to work this way on our home if we have the chance to have the same setup or very similar setup at work the only thing that i need to carry is a laptop or a mini computer as we have seen previously and that is it i will just need to connect it and i will have all the accessories all the peripherals everything as i did configure